Hello, I haven't done a video in a very long time, so bear with me. Today I thought I would do a little bit of a haul. I feel like I actually have quite a lot to talk about and to catch you guys up on because my last video was roughly like two years ago or something. So a lot has happened since then. So I might also do a catch up video on how my life is going if you guys are interested in that. But for today, I thought I would just do a little haul um, because I've bought a lot of homeware stuff recently. So yeah, let's get straight into it and I hope you enjoy. I bought a couple of things from Zara Home. The first thing I bought are these amazing like towels. They've got like five different colours on the website and I didn't really know what colour to go with but I'm really really pleased with this colour. It's so so lovely. I will link it below what colour it is exactly. It's really really soft as well and I just it just feels like such good quality. And I got this for the guest bathroom and now I'm actually thinking I want to get the bigger towels as well and I think I'm just obsessed with this waffle texture at the moment. So I got two of these beautiful hand towels. I've also got them in a smaller size and in a bigger size as well. I feel like I won't really need the smaller size but I will definitely get some more of the bigger ones and then swap out all my old towels. I actually placed this order I think the last week of December, first week of January where everything was on a Christmas sale as well so I know it is maybe a bit late now, but I thought I would show you the stuff anyway. I got these in the sale because they were really cute actually. They're, they are a pair, so they're quite cute. And they've got this cute little blue bow on them, which I love. I'll have to play around with the bow a little bit, make it look a bit nicer. But these light up as well. And I actually think they look really sweet as like a little pair. I'm going to use them next year. I find... um. Like with Christmas stuff, it's quite nice to get it in the sale after Christmas to, to get it for next year. It's a bit of a shame I can't use them now, but I can't wait to use them next year. I don't know how much I got them for. Um, I can leave all the prices below maybe as well. And then I also got a few of these ornaments. I think they were two fifty or two ninety nine, which I think is quite a decent price. I mean, it's they're not the cheapest still. But I think before they were quite expensive and. I just think they look really gorgeous. Got a third one as well, just for the Christmas tree next year, which it feels quite weird to talk about Christmas tree in February, but there you go. Very pleased with those as well. Then this next item I'm gonna show you, it is just very random. And basically I saw Toby's home talk about this. I saw it and I was absolutely in love with it. It's really beautiful. I find like wood at the moment, anything wood I'm obsessed with because there's a bit of texture and it, it just looks so lovely. So yeah, this is very random and what it is, is a bit of a like crumb duster for the kitchen. So you kind of just sweep all the crumbs in there. But I've got some jars with pasta in and stuff and I thought it would look quite nice to lean it against that a little bit. So yeah, it's this little tray and you just sweep it but I don't know if I'll actually use it a lot maybe maybe I will maybe this is going to be very very useful but I wanted it a bit more as a decor piece I think they still have this in store I believe so I'll I'll link anything so that was it for Zara home then my most recent purchase actually are these and these are from Dunelm large candlestick and a smaller one. I would actually recommend to go into a store to buy these because they're real wood. They all have different colours and discolorations and things like that so I picked out the ones that I like the most. I think they are a bit different as well. I have been looking for candlestick holders for a while now. The only ones I could find that I really really like are the ones from N Cuckoo. I'm probably saying that brand completely wrong. But they are really, really expensive. Um, so I got these instead and they're so reasonably priced. And then seamlessly going into I the IKEA section of this video, I got some candles from there, which is a bit boring, but I actually thought I would have a look what they look like with some candles. The candle sticks from IKEA are just simply the cheapest. I think Argos has really cheap candles as well. This is what it looks like. It's quite good. So that's them 
with some candle sticks in them as well. Um, I feel like I really have to like shove it in there. I am really glad that the candles actually fit because at the moment I feel like there's so many different candle sizes and candle holders and stuff. So very happy with that. I feel like that's gonna look really nice styled as well. What else did I get at Ikea? So I got a bunch of these frames from Ikea. It'd be good if I help them the right way around. So these are the half star frames um, and I'm going to do a bit of a gallery wall with them. So I'm going to print out some black and white pictures and get some artwork maybe off Etsy or something. And then I'm going to do a wall up my stairs. I was looking for like a wood tone kind of like this and those sort of frames are fairly pricey and they do have them on H&M at home and things but um, at Ikea they were the cheapest so I got a couple of those. I, they were 10 quid each which I thought was really good. I got five of those. That was everything I got at Ikea. I'm going to show you the things that I got at H&M home now. So I got this oil jug and as you can see, I don't know if you can actually see this on camera, but I feel like it's more meant to be a bit of a display piece because I did put some oil in it and the oil, especially when you pour it out and stuff, does get on it. It does discolour the jug a little bit so that's just something to be mindful of. I don't mind it too much but I think I might actually change the um, pour spouty thing because you only get a cork lid with this because I feel like that might solve the issue because I do think it's beautiful. But the reason why I actually got this in the first place was because I want to swap out all the sort of things that are just cluttering up my workspace so like any oil bottles, coffee, things like that and get some really nice containers for it and swap everything out. So yeah, that was this. I'm very pleased that I got this. And then I got this very beautiful tablecloth. This is a 100% linen and I will leave a link to this as well if I can still find it. It was in the sale. I think I got paid around 20 quid for this, which for linen is quite good and it's a massive tablecloth. It's got a very beautiful texture and I do feel like it makes my table just look a lot nicer so I'm very pleased with this as well. I might show the way it looks like as well um, on my table just so that you can see it in action and then the last thing I got was a duvet set from H&M Home and it's just this white plain duvet set so this is all it on a pillow. So it's got these edges and it's 100% cotton. So I just wanted something really nice and plain that I can then go on and style with like more colourful pillows, maybe like a nice blanket on top and things like that. It's just like a base to work off of. And in this house that we live in, it's the first time that I'm actually having a guest bed. So I'm kind of finding that I need to buy a few more duvet sets just for the guest bedroom as well. So I am really, really pleased with this. Um, and I, I just love the way it looks and it, it was such a decent price. The only thing I will say is, you can see, I've ironed this for a very, very long time and it still has a lot of creases in here. So that's just something to be mindful of that is a little bit hard to iron. So that was everything I got recently. Actually having it all laying out in front of me, it doesn't actually feel like all that much um but yeah it's just a nice little accumulation over what I bought in the last couple of months so I do I do love home decor do let me know what you guys think and what your guys' favorite item was I hope this video was helpful maybe you found something that you'd like to buy and just leave me anything in the comments like improvements from my videos and things like that I hope you enjoyed this little sit down with me and I will see you next time. Bye!